One other, th other thing today I wanted to actually show you guys was uh, how these forms go together. So you can see these forms are actually rented forms. They're covered in an, kind of a, an oil that's called a form release. And so when the concrete pours down inside of these forms, the forms peel off really nicely. They're held in place on the outside by all these bars and tied in across by here. And I remember when I was a kid, one of my jobs was stripping forms. And these things would always cut you if you walked by them, so you had to be careful. Now inside, you can see we've got lots of rebar. And I'll take you to a spot where it's a little bit easier to see. So we've got rebar running in the footings, in the bottom of that T that we talked about earlier. Two pieces on either side. And we've also got it in the curb wall. But because this is a higher curb wall, we've got a, uh, a lot more rebar. You can see there's the top row there tied together but with an L to the bottom of this footing so it's pinned down to the bottom so you've got two rows that run plus vertical rows as well it's all tied into the bottom so the base is tied to the curb yeah, you know you don't get any stronger than that we probably overdid it a little bit but uh, uh, you know what this house will stay still for a long time so that's it for now we'll let you know when the concrete comes